Today I'll start with the IT and environmental monitoring. So this is a one, one of the use cases which is used uh, where IT is used uh, at the, in different different uh, environmental monitoring. Environmental monitoring means uh, suppose if you, you want to um, for environment protection, so water safety, so weather uh, um, uh, weather monitoring. So for different kinds of the environment related thing, you can use the IT device which can give them lots of benefits okay so now uh, normally so whatever changing are happening in in our environment so this thing can be detected and sensed by the sensor okay so after that this can be processed and you, you can take an necessary action okay so uh, no, normally, so that I told, so whatever changing are happening, okay, in our daily life, in our environment, this thing can be sensed, right? So, uh, so today I will start with the, what are the sensors are mainly required for environmental monitoring, water monitoring, air, what is the, what are the main monitoring parameters, okay, water monitoring, pressure monitoring, humidity monitoring, temperature monitoring, gas, dangerous gas monitoring, this thing can be sensed by the different different sensors right so this kind of the sensor i will start today okay so later i'll start with the architecture and uh, what are the main uh, from the environmental monitoring what kind of the parameters we can monitor and how we can monitor this i'll uh, discuss in the next coming lectures okay so uh, first we come to the um, one, one sensor that is ozone sensor Okay, ozone sensor. So uh, normally, uh, gas MQ one thirty one uh, gas detector. Okay, MQ one thirty one gas detector. Uh, this sensor mainly used for the uh, detection of the ozone layer. Okay, so normally the, the this kind of the ozone can be detected from that uh, and from, from the atmosphere. Okay, so uh, MQ one thirty one gas sensor can be detected, and this kind of the gas sensor consists of sensor circuit. One is a sensor plus driver side sensor circuit is there. Okay sensor circuit is there by using uh, the different kind of the gas like ozone layer can be detected from the environment okay so now uh, from the gas sensor one can uh, under the mq131 one is a metal sensor okay so the metal sensor that is normally detected for high concentration ozone layer high concentration Okay, high concentration of three layer, and another is the blue black light. Blue black light sensor that is for low concentration ozone layer. So this kind of the blue black light, this uh, that can be designed uh, tungsten oxide or tin oxide. So kind of the material are used for the blue black light, which can detect the low concentration ozone layer, and uh, metal sensor that can be used for the high concentration of ozone layer also from the gas sensor normally the you are giving input as a gas okay what will be the output for from the gas sensor this output will be in the form of the voltage okay so when you give this voltage output in the processor so this uh, output again for that the digital form is required again the voltage uh, analog voltage output will be converted into the digital output for case of the each and every sen sensor the whatever analog output we will get from the sensor that will be converted into that should be converted into the digital for further processing okay so mq131 is one of the most common use ozone sensor okay uh, next is the okay temperature and humidity okay so that means the sensor uh, which detect temperature humidity means air in a particular place sorry air not air heat 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 in a particular 
Please, this can be detected from temperature, from the temperature sensor and the humidity sensor. Humidity sensor normally you know that. And so this is the ratio. Uh, uh, normally the nimble sensor can be detected and humidity uh, of a particular place. Okay. And uh, the whole, what is the humidity? Humidity means it is the ratio of the moisture in air and uh, to the highest amount of the moisture present a particular temperature so that can be associated with the humidity okay so humidity sensor that the temperature sensor that is related to temperature only okay so from the temperature sensor so suppose temperature sensor okay so here i am giving the temperature input okay and the output here i am getting voltage this is analog. Okay, I am giving here uh, temperature as an input from the temperature sensor and the voltage you will get as a output from the temperature uh, sensor. Okay, now in the case of the humidity sensor. Okay, I am telling about the humidity sensor. Here I am giving the humidity, suppose the ratio, one ratio I am giving, right? Whatever ratio I am getting, huh? moisture ratio. This ratio I am giving as the input, and here I will get the output in the form of the capacitive, capacitive, resistive output. We will get. So from this output, we again we will convert it into the digital output. Okay, from this output here also we can we should get a digital. From here also, capacity bound resistive nature is there. From here also, we will get a uh, digital output. Okay. So, uh, from the temperature sensor and the humidity sensor, where DH uh, one uh, name of the sensor is DH uh, T11. Okay, this is one of the most common temperature in humidity sensor. So, in this DH uh, DH211 here, um, thermistor is presented for measuring the temperature and uh, uh, capacitive kind of the sensor is presented for measuring the humidity in the DH2, DH211. And the higher version of DH22 is also presented which can give the higher accuracy of the temperature and the humidity data. Right, uh, next is the next anemometer. Okay, so anemometer that is mainly uh, used for wind direction. Wind direction, okay. When you use wind direction, when you tell about the anemometer, here wind band is there. Okay, inside the wind band, you will have the uh, potentiometer. Okay, potentiometer which measures the wind direction. Under the anemometer, we have the wind band. Inside the wind band, we have the potentiometer which measures the wind direction. So, the potentiometer that measures wind. How, so, why in the wind direction? There is a change in the wind direction, and there is a change that if the direction of the wind is changed, then the resistance inside the potentiometer. Okay, resistance inside the potentiometer that varied according to. Wind direction okay, resistance in the center potential meter that will vary it according to the wind direction. Okay, so from here also we will get a analog value. Okay, and from the analog value for visualization, visualization we will get a degree rotation value. Degree, degree rotation value from the analog value we will get a degree rotation uh, value right so uh, the anemometer is a one value signal which is used for the point direction right so next come to the bolometry next is the bolometry that is for measuring pressure okay so 
force applied per unit area uh, exerted by the atmosphere okay or change in the pressure inside the uh, in the in our environment that can be detected by the bolometric pressure oh, and uh, so that uh, bmp series also sensors are there bmp uh, 280 bmp uh, 180 okay these are used for measuring the pressure sensor so normally the weather altitude weather condition this can be measured uh, by the B, uh, bmp 180 20 and these are in, these inside the bmp 20 you have the interface to communication interface okay so uh, i'll i'll discuss what is the the short form of the integrate to communication okay so the i2c okay i to see this are discussing the uh, letter okay what is the i to see so i to see well interface is presented inside the bmp 280 which are used for the pressure sensor okay so in case if you want to um, implement any kind of the I, I, iot device this such kind of the sensor you can use right uh, next come to the pyranometer okay Granometer that is used for the solar radiation. Okay, so normally pyranometer that is used for solar radiation, and normally it can detect the uh, solar radiation flux intensity. Okay, it can detect the solar radiation. Uh, solar radiation flux intensity from the solar radiation flux intensity we will get the voltage data okay we will get voltage data from the voltage data again you will get the solar irradiation parameter which uh, by uh, uh, solar radiation parameter that we will get from the sensitivity of the sensor okay so the pyranometer this is one of the sensor okay so that can detect the solar radiation solar radiation flux intensity and from that i will get the voltage okay voltage again that will be further converted into the solar radiation parameter okay with sensitivity of the sensor okay so the common pyranometer is the cmp1 one this is the one kind of the pyranometer uh, which can use for the detecting the solar radiation okay where the spectral range varied from the 282 to 8000 nanometer okay that means whatever solar radiation coming which wavelength is uh, from uh, 282 to uh, 2800 nanometer this can this this much spectrum which is coming from the solar can be detected by the pyranometer cmp11 uh, can sensor okay so that is normally used for the such a sensor normally implanted in the greenhouse uh, okay so for measuring the how much solar is coming uh, solar uh, radiation is coming inside the greenhouse therefore this purpose the cmp element parameter is used okay now we come to the cloud cover this is the last type of sensor I am going to discuss cloud cover. Okay, cloud cover mainly um, one good sensor is a UV sensor that I will tell. So, the cloud cover that is normally used for uh, measuring the cloud height and, the, and cloud base. Normally, the cloud cover is measured that is used for the cloud height and the cloud base. Normally, it is uh, it determines the difference measured between the temperature, ambient temperature and the sky temperature. Okay, ambient temperature and the sky temperature, whatever temperature we are getting. Okay, by using the cloud cover, so this difference I will calculate. From the difference, we will get a uh, we will get the cloud height and the cloud base. Okay, next is the, uh, it is also based on the different kind of the, uh, that means IR radiation. So, by using the, so normally uh, the radiation, okay, the heat radiation that is normally less in the cloudless sky as compared to the cloudy sky. 
sky okay so normally how how can you measure this concept the cloud cover so cloud cover measure the, the presence of the sky okay whether in the in environment sky uh, uh, sorry place the presence of the cloud inside the in sky okay that can be measured okay and how it can be measured it can be measured by using the um, ir radiation that is reflected from the sky okay normally the ir radiation reflected from sky okay that measures the presence of cloud okay presence of cloud is that indirectly measures the cloud height and the cloud width by using the sensor and by using the concept whatever i told ambient temperature difference between ambient temperature and the sky temperature this thing to tell all are, all factors are important when you are going to calculate the cloud uh, cloud b cloud height and cloud width whatever clouds are present in present in the sky or not this thing can be calculated next last is the uv sensor Okay, uh, UV. So for the different kind of the photo detector is uh, as a sensor used for the UV detection, UV ray detection from the atmosphere. Okay, UV ray detection from the atmosphere. So there are the two ray. One is the UV A and the one is the UV B. Okay, so that is the tanning. Ray and this is the uh, burning ray. So one uh, BE ML type of sensor is there. BM BE ML type of sensor is there, which can uh, detect both kind of the UV or UVA UVB. Both kind of the light can be detected by the BE ML series kind of sensor. And these are the, the red light. That means these are the ultraviolet light. Okay, this ultraviolet light are giving as input. Okay, these are giving as input inside the VML sensor and we'll get a output what is the output we'll get a uh, voltage normally all kind from the all kind of the sensor will get the voltage output okay we'll get the voltage output and for for the digital processing we need to convert this voltage out, output into the uh, this analog voltage output into the digital output okay so this is uh, so whatever radiation is coming from the sun this can be uh, detected by the VML series sensor uh, where the both are important UV ray and UV uh, both can be detected from a one sensor right so this by by combining the uh, different different kind of the this sensor we can design the environment monitor IoT enable environment environment monitoring system that water quality environment and water um, pollution air pollution quality this i will discuss okay how we can detect this i will discuss in the next class please please like share and subscribe my channel thank you